a temporary, oh, a temporary, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, it is that time again. I'm going to be pulling my summer TBR for you all. So it is officially the end of May or the beginning of June, whenever this video goes up. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, that means it is time for another seasonal TBR pool. So in case you don't know, if you're new here, all that kind of stuff, I do seasonal TBRs because it helps me kind of just pick some things to really focus on within the next three months. And it helps me just stay structured, but also gives me the leeway to also still mood read if I want to do that as well. Usually with my TBR, I'll pull that at the beginning. And then each month I'll pick books off that TBR to focus on. And then I'll also just probably add some other things in just in case I'm doing a readathon or something. So yeah, again, it gives me a lot of leeway. It helps me be relaxed and not stress out over trying to read a certain amount of books a month. But also I can still have the structure of a TBR because I love making TBRs. I have all of these. This is my TBR jar. These are my sticks. Each stick has a book on it. Uh, I don't want to expand the colors because yeah. But uh, when I pull out a color, I'll definitely let you know what it is. And just so you know, my summer TBR is going to be from June to August. So what I'll do is I will shake this up and then I'll pull out some sticks and we'll go from there. So I am going to change it up. I decided that I wanted to do what I did with my fall TBR last year where I had five friends pick a book for me to read. I'll mention them at the end of this and I'll definitely let you know what they picked. So let us get started. I will be pulling seven books. So I close my eyes and I'm gonna mix this stuff up. Hopefully it's working. And we're gonna pull from the middle. So, oop, that's two, here. A Contemporary, and it is Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. I'm actually really excited about this. So. One, it's a very, very summery vibe, I think. So it's a basically a, a more modernized retelling of Anna Karenina, from what I understand, with the main character being Asian. And I've heard it also gives off, like, Gossip Girl vibes, too, where it takes place in, like, Manhattan, New York. That's pretty much all I know of it, though. I think she gets, like, caught up in this, like, intense, like, romance, maybe. But that's pretty much all I know, and I'm okay with that. I'm excited to check this out, though. All right, so next book. All right, and this one is ooh, a series. So in case I didn't explain it, reds are contemporaries. <laughs> I should have said that. And blacks are series. So I pulled a black, so that means I'm going to be reading a series, and it is... The Three Dark Crowns series, and as you can see, I've already read Three Dark Crowns, so what happens with this is, with series, if I've already read the first book, then I just move on to the next book in that series, and so since I've read Three Dark Crowns, the next book I will be working on is One Dark Throne. So, I'm really excited to see what happens to this, because Three Dark Crowns did end on a cliffhanger, and well not really a cliffhanger but it ended on a really surprising note and it was one that I had guessed like halfway through the book but I wasn't sure because there was like no real inkling about it until the last few pages so I want to know how this happened because like how so I'm definitely excited to get to this next Alrighty. Ooh, it is a thriller and 
It is The List by Siobhan Vivian. So I have a copy of this somewhere, but I just don't know where I put it. And I will find it after this. From what I remember, I think this is about like a school where this list gets put up every like year or something about the most popular people and this girl ends up on it or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember what it's really about and I'm okay with that because with thrillers I kind of like to go in with knowing the least amount of information. But I'm really excited to check this out. I haven't read a Siobhan Vivian book before and I think I have like two of hers. So I'm kind of intrigued to see if she's an author I would like or not. So that's three. I have four more. Alright. Ooh. And it is a fantasy and it is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. It is The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. I'm so excited to read this. I've heard such good things about it. I'm a little nervous because I thought it was a fantasy and then I've heard some people say it's actually a horror and I'm not really good with horror. So we'll see. Hopefully they're wrong and I'm just like overthinking this, but we'll see. It definitely does sound intriguing though, so I'm interested to see what happens. Hopefully I will like it. If not, I'm blaming all of y'all. <laughs> it is... Ooh, so this green means a middle grade. And for that one I chose Sarah Normal by Phoebe Rivers. This sounded really interesting. It was basically, I think, about a girl who moves to a town and she can see ghosts and stuff. I've always been intrigued by like these types of ghost whisperer type books, so I thought it would be interesting to read it as a middle grade. Two more. and it is I do not have my copy out it is White Oleander by Janet Fitch <laughs> y'all I okay I loved this movie so I've been trying to read this book for years and it's like every time I just haven't gotten around to getting to it so hopefully this time I can get around to it because I really do want to read the book <laughs> so hopefully hopefully I can this summer so now we will pull my last pick for summer. Let's see. In the middle here. It is another series. Oh, it's a manga. It is Waiting for Spring by Anashin. So, so I've already read volume one, so I'll actually be working on volume two which i'm excited about so far i like this series it's very cute uh it's about a girl who kind of doesn't have any friends and so she ends up befriending these guys on the basketball team because they kind of just force their way into her life and so it's kind of her learning to like speak up and get out of her shell and kind of take risks and be the outgoing person that she knows she can be and yeah i'm kind of excited to get to this so i've decided <laughs> since that was a manga and they're not very hard to read um i am going to pull one more book i can do that so i'm going to pull this one and it is an arc and usually so this pink means it's an arc and it is the deceivers by Kristen Simmons so this is actually an older arc I think it came out in last year it came out in February of last year uh, so it's already been out for a minute I think it was a arc that I got from Teresa who got it from Kira I'm not sure but I'm intrigued by it so uh, it's about this girl who gets recruited to this school because she has like special skills in conning people I think so uh, they kind of recruit her for like a big mission or something it sounded really interesting so I'm interested in picking it up and seeing what it's about uh, yeah all right so those are my picks for spring and then next up will be the 
picks that my friends picked for me. Hey friends, as you can tell, I definitely look different from the earlier section of this video. I decided I wanted to film this video in two parts because I wanted to get the first part done earlier so that way I had time to edit it and everything and then the last part I needed time to do because I needed to ask everybody I wanted to ask and get their picks and I didn't want to rush them by being like oh you have to have it done by this week so I gave them until the end of the month so that's why I'm filming this part of the video now so as you saw like I gave you my um, TBR jar picks so hopefully those work out for me and now I'm going to give you my friend picks. So I chose five friends that I absolutely adore and asked them to pick, pick a book for me for this season. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and give you those picks and tell you who picked what and everything like that. So the first friend I asked was Chanel from Chanel Time. She recommended me The Distance Between Us by Casey West. So that is what I will be reading. Um, I'm excited because I actually do enjoy Casey West books so uh, I'm excited to check this one out and see what I think. The next person I asked was Amber from Amber in O Face. The book Amber picked was The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. I've read all of Becky Albertalli's books so far except for I think the newest one that just came out this year and this is the last one that's in the Simon verse that I need to read and I'm intrigued. Okay, so I loved Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens and Jenna, but I did not like Leanne on the, on the Offbeat. I thought it was just okay. So I'm intrigued to see what I feel about this. It's the last one I just haven't touched at all, but hopefully I enjoy it. The next person I asked was Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell. I adore her and I appreciate her so much for taking part in this. She recommended for me to read The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. I do not know what this really is about. I know it's something with a team and it's like a football slash hockey slash something else type of team and that's it. And then it's queer, I think, and that's it. So, but I'm intrigued. I've definitely heard a lot of people talking about this book and I think it's a series or a trilogy. So I've heard people like talk about it constantly. So I'm intrigued to see what I think. The next person I asked to pick a book for me was Jessica from Jessica Nicole Dickerson and I adore her. She makes awesome videos as well. You should just definitely follow all of these friends while you can. So the book that she recommended me was Salty Bittersweet by My Myra Cuevas. Uh, I am actually really excited to get to this because it sounds really intriguing and I'm in excited to see I guess what happens in this book it's a contemporary it's from what I understand about a girl whose I think grandmother or mother just died so she moves in with her father and his family and from there she has to kind of deal with her grief and also continue like her love for cooking it just seemed like it'd be like a touching contemporary read so I'm excited to get to this all right and the last person I asked to pick a book for me was Nikki from XO and Nikki. So she picked for me The Rules for Stealing Stars by Corey Ann Haydu. Uh, I know this is a middle grade. I don't know anything else about it. So I'm just gonna jump in with no knowledge and go from there. So I hope I enjoy it. Uh, this helps me out a lot too because I've been really wanting to get more into middle grade. So I think this will be perfect. Alright, so that is my summer TBR. Hopefully I can get through these books. Hopefully uh, this summer season will be a good reading season for me. Definitely wanting that to happen. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or whatever else, uh, please leave all that down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.